I'm throwing the spout now. Um, it's to go on a teapot body that I threw yesterday or the day before. It's been drying slowly. Uh, I always find the spouts dry so much faster you don't want to throw them on the same day unless you're assembling everything very wet. Uh, I prefer to let it get to leather hard, trim the bottom first and then attach everything because you want your spout to stick up above the top of that otherwise when you fill it it will pour out the spout before you filled it. Um, so you want the bottom of the spout roughly level with the top of that which means obviously you can't put it upside down because it, yeah, that's not going to work. Um, so lid doesn't quite slide on as easily anymore. What I'm going for is possibly a little bit longer than that, but a fairly stubby spout. And then what I do is I bend the tip over and make that bit very sharp. And um, this happens to pour better than any of the teapots I've made before, but I mean, it, it really you get a very nice pour to it. Yeah, no drips whatsoever. And that's because it bends over almost double back on itself. So the drips would have to go uphill to go past it. It's very sharp and there isn't a huge amount of glaze on there. You don't want it fat and rounded. I mean, not that I'm an expert, but I've read enough things and then tried a few variations but that advice does seem to hold true and it is the advice most people that make these give so I at the moment I'll stand by it so about 100 150 grams of clay not a whole lot and it doesn't actually matter because I don't use all of the clay as in what I'll do is I'll throw the whole spout but I'll cut it off at the height that I want it Center, open all the way to the back. Quite wet, pull the wall up and in. first get these, these are so sharp that I have made myself bleed with it on numerous occasions. It's quite nice having one that's reasonably sharp, I think possibly that goes a bit further than is strictly speaking necessary, but um, a very good job of cutting the clay. Uh, probably should have got the water out a bit sooner. fairly constant taper down to this end of the spout and the water pressure should keep the water moving nicely. If it has sharp angles and changes volume in and out things it will go. Over. So that'll do for now. Come back in a bit, neaten the top, cut at an angle up and bend the one part round to make that sharp lip uh, and then 
attach it to the teapot. 